kitchen right now with the always friendless Patrick Little. Unreal. <laughs> It's only Monday and he's already starting these tricks. Omar Curie from Los Andes is here with us this morning. Good morning, Omar. How are you? Patrick, good. What do I, oh, I got to look at my notes here. This is a tough one. <laughs> pescado alamacho. 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 There you go. All right. You What's in it. pescado alamacho? Pescado alamacho. We're going to start off with the fried tilapia, which is uh, right here. I just started before. Okay. We're going to have some squid, squid. Some shrimp, kiwi mussels. And the main key ingredient today we're going to be using, it's uh, called ají rojo, which is a hipanca. It's a traditional hot pepper from, uh, from Peru. And this is the actual pepper itself. Okay, it's a puree. That's a hot. Wow. <laughs> it's going to be simmered down, and we're going to deglaze it with this uh, white wine that we have over there. We have some uh, fried yuca, which is a uh, cassava, it's like a potato. Mm -hmm. And now uh, we're going to um, top it off with a little cilantro. We're going to saute it with a little bit of diced tomatoes and onions. And uh, we're going to use this roux just to thicken the sauce a little bit. Wow, how? Okay. i got to grab this thing here. <laughs> you got two of them. I'll put it right there. That's the pepper, right? The hot pepper? Yes. How hot is that hot pepper? It's like, a, if I took a big bite out of it, it's thing to get is the seed itself, so the actual pepper itself is not too spicy, but the seeds itself, it's what gets you. All right, well, I'm going to snack on this while we wait for the next... No, that wouldn't be advised. You wouldn't advise that, would you? <laughs> no, not at all. No, okay, well, then I'll just put it down. Perfect. Better, better, better yet doing that. Omar, thank you. Uh, the recipe, of, as always, online from Los Andes at foxprovidence.com. Much more from the kitchen in a bit, but for now, let's send it over to you. All right. Let's send that on over to the kitchen where Lily is. How's it going, Lily? Uh, it's going pretty good, actually. There's a lot of celebrating going on, and uh, this has nothing to do with VJ Day, but this coming weekend, uh, there's a festival going on, and I remember the last time that you came here, you also were talking about a fishing trip yes, that you guys right. were doing. So tell me a little bit about some of the stuff that's right. going on this weekend. All right, this uh, Saturday and Sunday, it's the 14th to the 15th, we're going to be celebrating uh, La Virgen de Cupina, mm -hmm. which is a very traditional uh, Virgin Mary from Bolivia. Yeah. And it's going to be this Saturday and Sunday in uh, downtown the Virgin Mary's right? from Bolivia? Well, one of the Bolivia. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, the festival is. Yes. <laughs> and uh, what else? The fishing trip. It's going to be the uh, Saturday 21st, which is going to be uh, August, this uh, this 21st. Uh, Saturday morning at 8.30. We're going to be fishing for flounder. We're actually going to be making ceviche on board, we're going to have the cooks, we're going to have the wait staff on board, and it's going to be a pretty good event. I think that one is a really good idea, because yeah. it, how, tell people how much that's going to cost. It's actually going to be, uh, it's going to be about $40 a person, yeah. and that's going to include everything, complimentary drinks, the fishing, the food, the whole nine. I mean, that's huge. You can't get that anywhere, no, honestly. Well, very exciting. As a matter of fact, I think Patrick might want to be on that boat. Know. He's a fan of fishing, <laughs> uh, and I'm a friend, fan of ceviche, so maybe the two of us <laughs> will be there. In right. any case, in just a moment, we're going to make some macho fish in just a second. For now, though, back over you. Right, back in the kitchen, uh, disturbing announcement just made by Elizabeth that she's had such a long week already. <laughs> and I just reminded her that it's Monday. It's a really but we've been week. eating very well. You know, we've had a lot to eat this morning yes, on the road show. When you eat a lot, it makes you tired. It makes you... Yeah, I'm ready for a nap. Yeah. I'm ready for a nap. And Omar's going to cook some more food for us. I just right. had a... Piece of squid in my hand. We got yeah. some mussels over here, some really hot, hot peppers. But you know, this is a macho dish, so you need lots of mussels. That's right. Oh. 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 Omar is adding in a little bit of garlic yeah. to what he's already cooked. Now, tell me what's already in I this. I already started with a little bit of diced tomatoes and onions, mm -hmm. a little bit of hipanka, which is a hot pepper. It's pureed. Mm -hmm. I'm going to just finish and bring this down. And so this is a spicy dish. Yes, definitely. Very nice. Now we're going to just throw the squid in there for me the whole time. The whole thing is squid? The whole thing. Thing. Okay, I got your squid right here. You got your tentacles. Right you got there. your roundy Take a look at the squid. All right, there it is. You know what's funny? Rick can't, Rick can't handle shooting eggs, but right. you give him a plate of squids and he is good yeah. to go. There we go. Rick, what is with that? It's like calamari before it becomes calamari. Now he says. All right. All right. You want to just put a sprinkle of the seasoning for me? This? Yeah. A sprinkle of and the what's seasoning. And what's in the seasoning? A little bit of salt, garlic. Papa. Say when, Omar. Oregano. That's good right there. You know what's interesting is, to us, these are a lot of um, exotic elements a lot of times that Omar uses. I mean, certainly we, we've encountered squid before in calamari and that sort of thing. But whenever you make it, it always ends up tasting delicious. Thank you. So now the mussels are going in. Yeah, three mussels. That's the macho part. It's only four, though. Now, those hot peppers are directly Well, directly you bring the rest, Patrick. Thank you. <laughs> what are we doing with hot peppers? Actually, no, I'm saying they're directly imported from South America. It's from South America? Right. From South America. That's a long way. So we're gonna, what do we do with these? Oh, no, I'm just, I'm just pureeing. Those I'm were already pureed, pureed up. Yep. They were what? Pureed. Pureed? Blend. Yeah. Just blend, it means blended. to mix, to, to blend. So you don't put them in there? Well, no, he no. did. He did already, but they were blended. Here. That's what it looks like there. Yeah. Are you two laughing at me? <laughs> no, 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 not at all. We would never. I'd never do that. Now, um, when you did you put the shrimp in that for me? With the shell? You know what shrimp are, right? Cute. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> Just a few shrimp. Okay. 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 
open this bottle for me? Sure. Sure, give the wine to Elizabeth. All right, here we go. Oop! Cookie. <laughs> Hey. All right, and it's just hey, kind of a splash of that. Now this is a Pinot Grigio. A, just in a minute, hold on. Is this okay. going to splash? Is this yeah, going okay, to? Look, can you just put just about a teaspoon of that? No, Tea that's all. That's roux right there. That's equal parts of a uh, little bit of butter and uh, flour. Enough? Yep, perfect. Now this is going to just stick in the sauce once we um, deglaze it with the wine. Okay. Okay, I see what's happening right. here. Now this dish is very flavorful. There's a lot of different condiments. A lot of you know, really, really good food. You know. Mm -hmm. Um, I like that. We forgot something. We got, what's this? Oh, that's just uh, the actual squid before you cut it. Oh, my favorite. Can you just put a, just a little splash? A little splash yep. like this? Uh, yeah, that's good. A little bit more? Yeah, just a little more. Okay. Now after we cook it, we can have a glass and actually eat it with the meal. It tastes pretty good. Well, that's what I like to do. I like to have a glass <laughs> with the meal, a glass before the meal. What about this? Oh, that's, uh, you can you can put some in there. That's, uh, you can put the whole thing. That's fried yuca, which is cassava. It's like a potato. Mm -hmm. actually, yeah, it's really good. Kind of sweeter than a potato yeah. a little bit. I actually uh, sliced it up before we started and fried it as long as with the fish right here and I made a little rice before the show. Now, what kind of fish are you using for uh, this? Tilapia. Tilapia. Yeah. And you can use really any white fish, right? Oh, yeah. Now, what's that? And that's that's the actual uh, yuca before it's fried. Gotcha. Oil. Oh, so that's finished. Yep. So we've got everything in the dish. And you want to just sprinkle some cilantro in there for me? Is this the Is this cilantro? The cilantro? I would love to, Omar. I you know what? Never ask. Jill Marinelli is having an accessorizing 101 um, class. I think we should have a meet your herbs 101 class me? with Patrick. Yeah. Okay, Lily, can you just put another dash of uh, wine in there for me? Sure. A little bit more here. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Alrighty. I think it's about finished. And what's neat about seafood is it really doesn't take very long no. for all this stuff to you cook. You never want to overcook the seafood. And you have it uh, plated with some rice and uh, what's that called again? Oh, uh, this is regular tilapia and this is a uh, little white rice. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I was talking to Omar. You may have the tongs. <laughs> you may have the tongs. <laughs> Feed her, please. Yes. All right. Just a couple of seconds left, so I'm going to grab out. The silverware. Look how delicious that looks, and you can see how uh, how nice the the sauce cooked up with that roux mixed into it, which was really nice. Okay. Some of the squid there, the squingy bits. <laughs> and I tell you, you don't get much more uh, direct from the sea. Do me a big favor. What's yeah. the big? Throw a fresh uh, sprinkle of cilantro in the plate for me. Fresh sprinkle of cilantro. This is the cilantro, right? Yeah. Kidding. <laughs> <laughs> No, guys, All right, Elizabeth. Thank you, you so much. Why don't you put it right really here? Really I'll good. give it a try, and I'll let Patrick throw right over to uh, to Michelle. But I have to tell you, it looks pretty good. Mmm, and it is good, huh? delicious. Thank you so much, Omar. Thanks, Omar. Uh, let's send it over now to Michelle, who has a look at. Uh,